I need you to feel what it's like to be betrayed by your brothers. Yeah. Thrown in the pit. Mm -hmm. Then I need you to be feel what it's going to feel like to be set up. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> I need you to feel all that. Yep. Then I need you to wait more. Mm -hmm. But everywhere Joseph went, I'm mm -hmm. trying to watch your tone. No, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> everywhere Joseph went, he was prosperous. He was prosperous. So it had nothing to do with him, his self mastery. Yeah. It was just him having to wait the process out. Mm -hmm. Because eventually, if you master self, yeah. which Joseph did, he had he was good at math. Mm -hmm. He understood this is what you're going to have to do. You're going to mm -hmm. have to save mm -hmm. seven years of your plenty mm -hmm. in order to, and this amount in order to be prosperous when you don't have it. Yeah. You have to. So he had a mindset. He had a skill yeah. to interpret dreams. Everything yep. was a setup. Yep. He had a, a, a skill to interpret dreams. And then he had a skill of math. He had a skill with people. He mm -hmm. knew how to, because he did it with Potiphar's house. Yep. He was able to put people in place. He, mm -hmm. he knew how to run things. He mm -hmm. was good with management. Mm -hmm. That came with having an understanding. And he was fearless. Yeah. He wasn't, a, because he, he, and it's amazing because I can only imagine being 17, 18 years old, however old he was, being in those positions. Mm -hmm. And you really not having a choice, you know, and you're, you're after, first of all, after my brothers sold me, yeah, that, that'll suck life out of you. Yeah. And he could have went anywhere. He could have done anything after that moment. He could have had self pity in mm -hmm. that moment, bro. Mm -hmm. But he used it for his good. Mm -hmm. That takes courage. That takes courage, bro. I mean, that takes a level of courage that people ain't built with no more. Yeah. Because my brother sold me, yo. Mm -hmm. Y'all, that's how y'all feel. Mm -hmm. Because of what? Yeah. Because of a dream. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's deep. It's deep. It's deep, bro. <laughs> it's deep. It's deep. It's deep. This is why I say it goes, it goes deep. Because I've been I've been studying Joseph, Joseph for the past like what couple well this past week honestly, mm -hmm. and this is the thing that I I pulled out of that story is that first of all, <laughs> Jacob pissed me off so much mm -hmm. in, this, in, this <laughs> in this Bible, and it and it wasn't because of like of it was mainly because of how he managed his 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 family sure. There are so much there's so much in 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 this story of Jacob and Joseph mm -hmm. and his brothers mm -hmm. that you can literally you can we can preach a whole series yes, on sir. how the mismanagement of spiritual fathers mm. and the mismanagement of fathers in your life. Mm. The problem the thing that that pissed me off so much about Jacob was when his daughter was raped. Mm. When when his daughter was raped, his response to that was you my image matters more than the fact that my daughter has just gotten raped. Mm. And he was so upset with his sons for going their response. for their response and how they made him look in this town. Then having righteous anger or having some kind of passion for his daughter who had just got raped. Mm -hmm. And the dude is crazy. Tell me, I want to marry your daughter. I give you everything I got. And you, you don't feel some type of way. Mm hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. Why is that? Mm -hmm. Well, let's back all the way up. Mm -hmm. What 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 caused jo Jacob to have this type of attitude towards his kids? Mm -hmm. It's because he didn't love Ra he didn't love Leah mm -hmm. as much as he loved Rachel. Mm -hmm. So all the women that he had children with, all of jo Joseph's brothers, they all came through women that he did not love. Mm -hmm. And because of that relationship aspect, that love that he had towards them, mm -hmm. it matriculated in how he dealt and how he managed his his family mm -hmm. so like the sons they all saw mm -hmm. because they knew that jacob loved rachel more than anything mm -hmm. and so the babies that rachel had the type of love that he had for rachel mm -hmm. was different mm -hmm. than the love that he had for his uh his other sons yeah and that's why you see that the the Jacob Joseph's brothers hated him so much more mm -hmm. because of that root from his father mm -hmm. all the way back 
to when he was at Laban's house mm-hmm. trying to marry Rachel mm-hmm. and he tricked him and put Leah in the bed. Yeah. It just shows like how talk, with Joseph, he was given of unfair advantage from the beginning for sure because of how his father loved him more than he loved his brothers and sisters. And it's just so funny because it's like when you read the story of Joseph and you see how he was set up and all these different things, it was in him from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Joseph knew how to fail because of how his brothers treated him. (laughs) He knew how to prosper Uh and he knew how to fail because of the fact that he had gone through it with his brothers. He had gone through it for a while Uh with them. And so with them selling him off, you know, of course he would feel some type of way. Of course he'll be pissed. Of course he'll be he'll be sad and upset. But I love like at the end when 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 they all come to him because he shared the dream and the dream was prophetic of what he was going to be doing in the future. Mm-hmm. When they needed something, when they needed food and needed rations, they came to him. The thing that he said the most is like what you said earlier. It said, "You intended to harm me, but God meant it for my good." Mm-hmm. And it's like every time that we think about failure in that in that moment and things like that failure is intended to harm us yes Mm -hmm. failure is intended to bring us pain failure is intended to allow us to see ourselves Mm -hmm. in the mirror but the other side of failure is is that it teaches us what did we learn from this failure correct what did joseph learn every time that he was facing a failing situation come on talk he had what the biggest thing that he he learned was that he had favor with God, man, which was key. Yeah, because good, of the bro. fact that he had favor with God, that's, that's why good. he was able to have favor with the with the prison guards. That's why he was able to have favor with different ones. And even though he 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 interpreted that man's dream and he forgot about it, it came up at the right time when Pharaoh needed somebody to take over this next phase of life. Come on. So it just goes to show like, you know, sometimes like how we, we talked about this before, how your name being brought up and your gift will make room for you. That's why, because of what he did for this one guy that he had favor with in the jail a long time ago. So it's like, so what else did Joseph learn while he was, while, you know, failing or we, we see those situations, failing situations. He saw that, you know, because God's hand is on him. Mm-hmm. He didn't see it as a as a negative. He saw it as a positive because it all led to him becoming the what the number two guy Come in on, Egypt. Bro. Come on, he was like the second most wealthiest guy behind who Pharaoh. <sighs> and because of that, at thirty, at thirty, <laughs> at thirty, married a fine wife. Oh, Come on here, <laughs> at 30, had a whole bunch of babies at thirty. Come on, man, had access to everything at thirty. Why? Because of God's favor. And he did not allow his situations, his failures to, to overtake that. He didn't allow that. He didn't allow his failure to get in front of his dream, in front of what God has already told him was going to happen. And a lot of times, the reason why we get so in, engulfed or we get, sorry, we get so swallowed up. <laughs> swallowed in up. Failure. <laughs> So, Have you ever been swallowed yeah. up? <laughs> sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> we love you, man. Love you. But it's like we get so entangled with failure because we don't know our identity. We forget what God has told us to do. We forget the dream. We forget the vision. We forget everything as soon as failure comes. And you know why we forget, bro? Why is that? We forget because... We keep pouring without being filled. Mm, that's good. We pour into what we're going after. And then when failure happens, we react mm-hmm. with our words instead of responding with our actions of what God has placed on the inside of us. Mm. He puts things, he has put something on the inside of us, but we have to keep going to the fountain. Yes. 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 <laughs> we have to keep going to the fountain to be in field. So what it, what does it tell us? And uh, what's the book? Um, Joshua one and eight meditate mm-hmm. on the word day mm-hmm. and night mm-hmm. because meditation for the world is different from meditation for the Christian. 